Hey everyone, Raffian Raffles here. As you can tell, I have fully installed Windows XP, but there are some icons and whatever I like more when that's in Windows 7 and Vista, so I'm actually going to make this the XP look like it, and I'm going to show everyone how to do it. First, you're going to have to download, click on the download link in the description, it lets you download this. It's, only, it's pretty small, so it shouldn't take too long to download. But when you extract it, extract it to a file. Otherwise, you're going to have a messy desktop or wherever you put it. So then you'll have this. Drag that over there. Open it. See, seven file. Now, you still have to do everything in order. However, if you want to do the theme, you kind of have to do this part in order because it's too picky like that. So you have to go to theme, and then you're going to click on the theme and run it. Once it runs, eventually, install. Once that's done installing, it might take a little bit. My computer is a little slow at the moment. Okay, it should bring up the prop your Microsoft's property bar. It should. Nah, I guess bring it up yourself. Okay, it'll bring it up to this. Okay, you're gonna click on apply. I do think I'm being slow. Don't do that. And you notice it's gonna look kind of all uh, oldy now. But we'll fix that. Now when you're in here, go back to the previous page, previous folder, you go into your styler now, you click on the first install me, you click on next, click on next, and click on next, let it install. Then finishes. That's updating your history, copying your files, it does all that stuff. Then okay. Now you have to just close it. Then click on the then run me file. Okay, now that that's in, you then come over to here. Click on this, you find the styler folder, you activate, you run it, it will appear over here, open it, maybe, come on, you can do it. Probably just my computer slowness at the moment. I don't know why it's being so slow. All right, now all this will go normal. Um, now open it. Open it again. Wait for it to boot. Show it everything again. Maybe. There you go. 
We click on this. Wait for it to change. There you go. Once it's finished, see it all be done. All right, still not done apparently. It usually doesn't take this long. Why is it running so slow all of a sudden? No, don't you dare change. Okay. Now I can close this. And as you see, everything's different. It looks like on the 7 now. Getting in here. Now what you do. You go back. You go into your iconic thing, your iconization. Click on the install. You click on yes. You click on OK. Now for this one, that's become enabled. You have to reboot. You have to log out and log back in. So I won't be able to show you that. I probably will at the end. I'll probably, I'll probably bring up the camera and just record that real quick. Okay, and then everything else in here I don't want. One. Okay. Now I want, now if you want, you can do the arrow shake when you have multiple multiple windows open you can shake the window you want and everything else minimizes the snap it snaps to whatever edge you want the shuffler and you can put them wherever you want I believe but I want icon they even gave you previews if you want to know what they look like now we install this Click on next, you have to go down here and click on the agreement thing. Stuff for everyone or just you, whoever you care about. Finish. And then something should, it should run itself. You don't, I, if I remember, you don't have to click on that, then run me. It should run itself. Fine, make me a liar. Here it goes. I have no idea why my computer's being slow all of a sudden. But it is. Okay, we don't need this. Okay. It should bring up a mod. There it is. There you go. You can even choose if you want to keep them there. Their Windows 7 format, or if you want to make them their older ones. It's all up to you. I'm going to just click a OK. Yeah, 
we have to wait for it to change everything. Come on. We're getting there. There you go. Oh, your icon go change. So, yeah, and then you can go up here and go into that. Go down to that. And also, what I like to have is the I the drive icon, which allows you to just give you that percentage bar how much space you have left on under your hard drive. I want that. Again, I took a polish for how slow this is being. Right. That's basically all I want to do. So you can go in here. You can go into my computers. Hasn't done it yet. There it goes. See, it shows you that bar. Now it shows you the bar underneath it. Right like that. I don't really want anything else in here. I guess I'll open the desktop. I'll get this for the house of it. <coughs> Okay, that ain't gonna work. Whatever, I don't care. I was just gonna get bored. As you see, almost everything's done. I guess I can. I'll switch the camera to show the bottom things change. So, yeah, I'm gonna switch real quick. Now, what you wanna do? You wanna go in and log off. Just log off. Yeah, I see it still says I'm XP, but that's fine. So you can sort on the XP, log back in. I boot it in. Once it changes everything. Actually, let's try something real quick. Let me do this real quick. Let's see. Properties. Okay, I have to unlock it first. There we go, for can make these the large icons where they could fit better. Fit. But, let me go over here. Let's say you open this, my computer. And let's say you open this. See, I can do, it. I can do everything else. It does like this. Like if it was an X, Windows 7. That's basically everything. What I have to do. Zip. Have fun with it. So, like, comment, subscribe. Um, that's yeah. See you all next time.